Hello and welcome to, or welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Unknown with me qualification. So since the last video I have uh, named all of our new people here, um, assigned nicknames, stuff like that. Um, actually, I wonder. Yeah, it saved. Okay, um, so basically I started recording but then my recording was not active or something so I had to go back and do it again but it looks like the game saved it uh, all the progress so the new people we have are I believe CG who is female I can't really uh, do anything about that but uh, yeah there's CG the flag here this is an Australian flag the only difference between the Australian flag and the New Zealand flag by the way is that this big white star is not on the New Zealand flag and this arrangement of stars over here is red instead of white um, where we got here uh, I think sky is what might be new that's what sky looks like um, demon days is new he uh, he has a Japanese nationality, but I changed his race and stuff. Uh, okay, so basically what I've decided is that all people from Nigeria, that's what this flag is, are going to be Egyptian planets. And um, this particular one's female, but I ended up putting a helmet on so you, you know, preserve his masculinity. Um, the... Anytime, and if we ended up with more than one Nigerian at once, then what I'm going to do is just have them kind of waiting in reserve so that whenever the current iteration of Egyptian Planet is uh, is taken out, then we have a, a spare ready to go. And I might do this with some other nationalities, I don't know. Um, but since we've had three Nigerians in a row... I thought, you know, we gotta do this for Egyptian planet. Give him another shot, because he's just been taken out quickly and easily so many times. Uh, okay, so other new people we got. Pineapple Joe, he's not really Russian, but he's Scandinavian. Pretty much the same thing. Uh, we have... CG. Wait a minute. We have two CGs? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, I must have accidentally created two CGs when I was going through there. So I'll go back and change that into someone else. Off screen though, we just won't bring this person on any missions yet. Uh, so... Karakoran, another new guy. Uh, yep. And I think that's everyone that's new anyways. And our current objective is to... If you don't remember, we're supposed to capture one of the really dangerous aliens, the uh, the energy being ones that have like assault rifle plasma weapons. Um, that's kind of like our goal as far as being XCOM and killing aliens goes, but we're also, you know, going to be probably not finding... I mean, there's a chance that we'll intercept a uh, an alien ship again within four days time, but I don't think it's very likely. Uh, but, you know, I guess it's always possible. I'm just going to take a look and make sure that our engineering people are currently constructing that facility. Yeah. And we don't have enough stuff. I want to get laser rifles for our guys, but we need more engineers. So we need to do a mission. Uh, next time we have the option of doing a mission that will give us more engineers. And I think we're ready to go on our next voyage here. Look at that. Australia is just in so much panic. That's ridiculous. So we also should probably help Australia as soon as possible. And right to the oh, excavated part of the territory here. Whoops, return to game. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start constructing a, this is a lab. I could just use this entire top floor for labs. I think I will. Just giving me more engineers. Uh, well, five engineers would also be extremely useful, though. We do need engineers for our assault rifles, so we're gonna do that. And it will be the end of the month here in one day. We'll get more money, and we have a council report. Incoming transmission. 
transmission decoded. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Nice. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Okay, so we got we we did very well apparently. Uh, we haven't failed any missions yet, so that's got to be going in our favor. Um We will be in touch, commander. All right, so we should have a lot more money now. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I can't really I don't remember how much money we had prior to this. But whatever. We don't have anything to do right now except to wait for our precision lasers to get finished. And actually, we're just kind of waiting to intercept an alien ship for good and Okay, here we go. Contact. The signature is a little bigger this time, though. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and launch our uh, our ship. I said it was a bigger one this time. Hopefully, that does not mean it will destroy us. Bangs out. There we go. Alien crew intercepted sustained heavy damage in the encounter. It's, again, not even at 50% health, so I don't know how they figure that's heavy damage. And we are going to go investigate the crash site. So we do need, we're going to definitely switch up the, the people we're bringing for this. Whoops. A clear unit. Support sniper assault. All we need is a a heavy. Ronald is a heavy, I guess, but I want to get some more people. Oh, yeah, and we have our fifth guy, too. We'll bring Card along for this, apparently. Uh, bring some more new people in. Egyptian planet's coming. And, yeah, I think this is pretty good setup right here. Next deployment site is in the UK. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Okay, so mission, same one as the last time, and when we destroyed an alien ship, or made it crash anyways, uh, is to locate it, sweep the area, and neutralize them, and avoid damage to the craft. Right, so where Strike is the actual crash site breach. at? Uh, I do not see it here. I'm guessing it's just in the back right here, because that's the only part of the map that's like large enough in size to allow for it. So Imperial, get behind some cover here. Put card. Uh, like to get him behind some good cover up here. Egyptian planet. We'll have you go over here. Persian, our support member. He doesn't really have a lot of options. We'll just go over here by Egyptian planet and support him. Then Lair. Our assault. Want to get him. And he's also got an arc thrower so he can hopefully be the guy who stuns our opponent. That's a good spot. I think I will move Imperial up more. Although, is there anywhere that's significantly better as a vantage point? And offers cover. No. Okay, well in that case we will just go on Overwatch. I don't know whether or not the aliens even, um, you know, like, move before we get to a certain range of them. Because it seems like they only start acting whenever I... Um, encounter them, so they're probably... No, there's no aliens? Really? That's interesting. 
I'm, there's got to be some over here. There's no way there's not. Okay, so this is this is Egyptian Planet 3.0. Put him in cover here. Enemies inside. Yeah, there's some aliens. Persian can get good cover here, so I'll have him move. Weapons on. More sectoids there. Just gonna move the lair up here by Imperial. Card here. They buff each other, yeah, that's pretty much given every single time that there's two of them. He's gonna move up closer and take a shot. Where at? Uh, okay, on Persian. I don't think that those guys can shoot from behind the energy shield wall thing. Apparently they can. So, can you hit him through there? Yeah. We'll go ahead and take the headshot on this uh, alien that's sitting behind the energy field. Got him. Alright. An Egyptian planet hit one of them. What about a grenade throw? Yeah, you could definitely hit that one with a grenade. We're gonna do it. Well, apparently he didn't even die. Okay, Persian. 55% chance on him, 50% there. Could definitely kill that one, so we're gonna go for it. And Lair. I feel like there's gonna be aliens over here. Establish Overwatch right there with him. Move card up to here. And Overwatch as well. They're starting to lose ground. He's retreating, okay. Is he gonna try to take a shot? No? Guess not. Okay. So we'll put Imperial here. And have him go on Overwatch. Then Egyptian Planet. Sprint all the way up here. Oh, he's on Overwatch. Great. It hit me for four damage there. Can you actually hit him? No. Okay. Well, whoops. Perhaps if I uh, move up closer. Hmm. We'll try this and see if we can possibly hit him from here. 50% chance. We're going to take it. Alright, good. So that took care of that alien. Get Lair in here. I think that the energy aliens don't even spawn until you actually enter the ship. Looks like there's a big opening on this side, so that's kind of where we need to be headed, unless they want to bust open a wall. 
which we certainly could do, but I don't want to destroy the ship, if at all possible. And card, we just kind of want you going over here, making sure that there's no aliens in this side. Alright, I think that's probably... Just establish an overwatch on this side. Here's Imperial's overwatch activating. He missed. Shot wide. It's gonna take a shot at Imperial. Damn, Miss all close. of them. Okay. You got a 91% chance to hit, 75% chance of making it a critical. No yeah. longer a threat. Okay. The Egyptian planet up closer. Alright, we'll put him here. And Persian, we can put just here. it all there, so we're going to move it behind the tree. And card. Anything over here. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Imperial is far more effective at higher elevations because we got that perk. So we need to move him into that kind of position. Wear it up all possible. Alright, so this is, uh, I'd like to get positioned so that we can respond to that energy being well before we even try to enter the ship. I'm going to have these guys just kind of wait until Lair and Imperial get closer. I'm not going to bring Card over to this side. That's the edge of the map right there. No sign of the enemy. Start moving him back towards the rest of us. Something's happening here. Okay, I guess we just hear about the alien there. their movements until I get Lair closer. Where's Lair at? So we do have to try and take this thing alive. It's not going to be easy, I imagine. I think we took care of all the sectoids on the map, and the only thing left are going to be the defenders inside of the ship. Okay, Egyptian planet, we got some people close enough now that I think you can move up into a closer position here. And Persian, you do the same on this side. Okay, so we I hear don't think we're alone here. here. Looks 
Looks like that's a good vantage point for the entrance. Okay, where's our support guy? I'm gonna try and do a smoke grenade, I think. We're gonna just throw one right into the entrance here. And then have Egyptian plant ahead inside. Layer can move up to here. Okay, just establish an overwatch. planet move out. So this is kind of the bridge or something. Oh wait, where is the bridge? There's the, the power core thing that we can salvage. Uh, but yeah, I think this is the bridge. Looks like that's going to be a really easy spot for them to get at us though. Apparently we are allowed to enter that room, yeah. Okay, enter the blue radius here, see if you can't just see on the other... Okay, we can't even get vision through this thing, apparently. Well... Put yourself here. There's the enemy. They're gonna hit. Yeah. And Egyptian Planet 3 is down. So that means the aliens are basically right around here. Actually, I think they're shooting from this doorway. Okay. Now we can see there's a sectoid over there. Got a 48% chance to hit. Take it, I guess. No They're way starting to lose happened. ground! Did he start running or something? No, he didn't. Or if he did, it wasn't close enough that I can make anything out of it.
Well, that piece of cover is gone. 70% chance to hit, 60% chance of the critical. Take it. Dead and gone. All right, there we got him. There you go, just remain on Overwatch out there. Okay, Persian. Okay, um, I believe that it's clear except for the energy being at this point. He seems to be back here. So I'm going to have Lair move up. the outside again. I really don't want to compromise the safety of that energy core. those creatures using the arc thrower. There doesn't seem to be much left when we attack outright. There's something out there. This is not going to be easy. Card's out of moves. He's probably dead next turn in all likelihood. gets us nowhere. Our troops should focus on capturing one of them, not killing them. Yes, yes. Another day, another successful operation. So, we didn't capture the alien. I didn't have any control over what Card did, but, you know, we didn't lose. We only lost one person. It was Egyptian Planet, who I think is destined just to die in every mission he enters. So Lair is now a lieutenant. I mean, uh, Imperial is now a lieutenant. It's got 11 kills. That's pretty crazy. So we can pick Disabling Shot or Battle Scanner. Disabling Shot, main weapon of malfunction. 
that could be really useful in allowing us to capture the enemy. I wonder if I'm allowed to... No, okay. And the card is a support class. So yeah, alright. We got 65 or 66 alien alloys, 5 sectoid corpses, damage flight computer, damage power source, but we got an attack to power source and an attack to power or attack computer as well. I appreciate your efforts to One support day left the research, research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. From what little I've seen of their technology, if the aliens were intent on conquering Earth, there's not much we could do to stop them. I'm guessing they have something else in mind. Okay. Go to the memorial here. Another Egyptian planet. Take a look at the hangar really quick. When selecting a specific jet within the hangar, you can choose to modify its current weapon loadout to best serve our needs. I think I am going to buy another one of those aim modules. Where am I? No, I'm not allowed to, um... I am not allowed to uh, do any things yet, any of those. What was it exactly? I don't even remember. Yeah, we're gonna make med kits too. How many engineers do we even have right now? Three med kits? Yeah. We're gonna actually start equipping people with med kits, I think. Because we are losing losing them pretty fast. We're gonna hire new guys too. Five new guys. And we'll pass some time. Alright, precision lasers are done. Codename Lightwire. Looks like we get a scattered laser, which I imagine is the heavy gun in laser form, and a laser sniper rifle. After a number of failed experiments, we finally succeeded in focusing an accelerated energy pulse through a narrow field lens while still maintaining adequate if energy efficiency. The result is an extremely capable weapon akin to a traditional sniper rifle, but with a much greater chance of inflicting critical damage on enemy targets. We believe this weapon is now ready for deployment in the field once Dr. Shin and his team complete the fabrication process. Uh, during our testing, we also developed another prototype operating under the same principle, but relying on a modified prism to scatter the beam rather than focus it. We envision this weapon fulfilling the same role as a traditional shotgun, but without the ammunition constraints and with greater damage output. However, with as with other laser-based laser -based weaponry, heat dissipation issues continue to plague these designs. Scattered laser, so apparently this is the shotgun. Scattered lasers are capable of inflicting considerable damage, however accuracy suffers greatly as the range of the target increases. That's obvious. Laser sniper rifle provides a greater chance of inflicting critical damage or critical chance due to the unwieldy nation. Our soldiers suffer a, suffer a penalty when attempting to strike car targets at close range. Well, again, not really concerned about close range sniper rifle. So that would be useful. Alien nav computer, heavy lasers that would improve our ships. I think we're going to take experimental warfare. Actually, we're going to get alien materials out of the way. I expected that would be a priority research task, Commander. I'll begin allocating resources to the project immediately. Obviously, it's not been a priority resource uh, research project. So it's one of the first ones we could have done, and we haven't done it until now. Um, rapid recovery. Heal twice as fast. That would be really useful. However, I think I'm going to go for the experience increase thing. And we are going to go scan for activity. What's going on here? Oh, this must be the completion of the laboratory event. Yeah. Laboratory online. Is there anything else we can actually build yet? Yeah, we could build a facility there. Workshop, laboratory. Uh, how much would it cost us? We'd need extra power. We'd need to build a generator. No, I'm not going to do it. So our research should go faster now. Yeah, it'll only take another day. Alien materials tomorrow, new soldiers the next day. All right, 
right, so we have alien materials. Codename Looking Glass. Our understanding of the alien materials is limited at best, and we could spend years deciphering the complex manufacturing processes required to produce and manipulate these substances. However, we have managed to crudely adapt some of the observed techniques into our own research. Our first development, a multi-walled carbon nanotube weave, was modeled after an unusual pattern mirrored in several of the great or of the alien minerals materials. The new configuration has proven to possess a greater tensile strength than any material previously recorded in known science. Adapting this fiber into an armor-reinforcing vest will surely afford our soldiers increased protection on the battlefield. And we can now put a nanofiber vest. A uh, lightweight vest provides extra damage absorption to the wearer. Okay. And I think we're going to do experimental warfare next, because that's a kind of a basic technology, I believe. And we are going to go and order up some of these nanofiber vests. I believe we'll get five of them because that's how many... It only costs money to build these things. I guess it doesn't... Yeah, okay. Alright, now we're going to go equip those. Definitely want to give one to Imperial on the lair. Oh, they're not... Uh, okay, I guess... I was hoping it'd be a body armor improvement. Oh well, I guess that gives some of our new people a little bit higher chance of survival. We only have $54. Okay. Simoleons. Situation room. We really do need to go to Australia and Asia in general. Looks like the rest of the world was doing okay at least. A request from Australia laser rifles. We don't have laser rifles, so we can't do that. Okay, that would improve nothing. Oh, we'd get extra engineers from it. Well, our workshop won't be finished for another six days, so I don't think we can possibly complete that mission. Any research? Codename Skunk Works. As we continue to research the alien weapons fragments and the other materials recovered from the field, we've come to realize how other alien or how the aliens managed to make this these substances work in conjunction with one another. While reducing the size of these components is often a challenge in and itself, we decided to focus our initial efforts on a weapon more suited to deployment on our interceptors. This cannon was designed to concentrate energy within a small area and should be capable of punching through the armored holes of the alien craft. In addition, we possessed or passed a number of interesting conceptual designs onto the engineering team. Dr. Shen seems confident that the, given the appropriate resources and testing facility, he can bring many of these concepts to life. We can now build the Foundry and the Phoenix Cannon. The Phoenix Cannon is capable of delivering massive burst damage, but its limited range puts the interceptor at great, greater risk during combat. Foundry, develop new combat items or improve current items in the Foundry. Um, okay. So we can get Carapace Armor. That's kind of the thing that I wanted, really, was the body armor improvement. We're going to go for alien nav computers. And we should go actually sell our junk on the black market and the gray market. Yeah, this stuff here is useless to me. Now we got 144 credits. Okay. Four more days till the workshop's done. Then we can actually make some laser rifles. A request from Asia in 19 days. Oh, that's the uh, laser rifles thing. So I guess we might be able to fulfill that request. Here's the workshop. Additional workshop online. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. These things are really expensive. Okay. So, four of them would cost... a hundred... simoleons. How much is a laser sniper rifle? Can we make that yet? Yeah. That costs thirty-five. And shotgun 30. These things only cost 9, but that's not exactly the most useful thing anyways. 
so I guess we will we'll fulfill that request for Australia. Oh, here we go. That's pretty neat. And we have $44 left. I'm gonna build a laser sniper rifle for Imperial. Go to the Situation Room. Can we sell these things? No. Pending request one. You know, we have 14 days to complete that. I'll wait until it's closer to the edge so that we can possibly bring these things with us before we have to complete that request. Search. Alien nav computer, we can build a satellite nexus now. We've had the opportunity to study these devices in limited fashion. As we discovered, they do contain some form of encrypted alien data. However, they're also completely reliant on an internal power supply, which, when depleted, renders the device inaccessible. The only means we've found to gather information from this equipment is by routing its internal power system through a crudely assembled interface that bypasses any built-in shutdown sequences. However, the alien data itself has presented an even greater obstacle as we're dealing with a programming language that is unlike anything found in our own systems. Fortunately, the research team is quite capable, and we've quickly assembled a small group of our best analysts for the task. We've already begun to establish patterns in the alien encryption, encryption algorithm, revealing small bits of information that can be integrated into our research. So this... Whenever, with the signal monitored by his team of engineers, Satellite Nexus can... Four satellites, plus one for each adjacent uplink. Okay. So that would be a useful project to start. But we don't have near enough money to do anything, and I'm going to pause recording and deal with this uh, beeping noise. I'll be right back. Okay, so... Where were we? Um, uplink targeting aim... Okay, yeah, the Phoenix Cannon, yeah, that's fine. How much is this new facility going to cost us, though? If we were to potentially build it. Interesting. Uh, so the Satellite Nexus requires a lot to build. What about the Uplink facility? That's reasonable. Each satellite Uplink, two XCOM satellites. And we'd have to build an access lift. Is that going to cost money? Yeah, it would. We're not going to do it then. We're going to have to build a power facility though before we get to the next level. There's a lot of stuff we need to do on that front. But we'll keep scanning for activity in the meantime. Abduction Commander, sites. We're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. Egypt, Russia, we got extra engineers from Russia, a new recruit, uh, no thanks. In China, we get more scientists. Yeah, we're going to go for the Chinese mission here. Heaviest little sniper support support. Bring a new guy along. Looks like our new people are here as well. Um... So we'll bring uh, CG along, and you know you can have a fancy new whoops loadout, fiber best thing. I wonder at the med kit, restore four health to an ally, upgraded to greater effectiveness, critically wounded ally. I think we'll get Persian one too because he's uh, he's not going to be using the arc thrower. Card. We'll change that up and put a new guy in as well. Um, we'll bring Jingles as well. 
he will not. We'll leave him with a frag grenade. Whoops, did I just... Yeah, dang it. Alien objections. We're going to go to China. But it should keep. Yeah, all my stuff's still here. So here we go. Our five guys for this mission. into China for the next operation. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Yep. Central, this is oh, I totally guy. forgot to equip Train Imperial with a laser sniper rifle. Roger, I realize that Reading now, five of course. By five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. So this is the only direction to go. Put Imperial here. Persian up there. CG can go next Persian. Jingles. A subway terminal this time. exactly or how exactly is it like a thunderstorm in this rail station are we above ground right now i guess we are on like a above ground metro that is yeah i was gonna how would we land our gigantic friggin plain thing in this place if it wasn't and yeah, we'll put him in here as well time to kick this sucker off Okay, so we know where the Thin Men are. How well can you, you can't fire this turn anyways? Yeah. Put up closer here. Wish I had equipped people with the proper weapons. And Imperial can sprint all the way up here by lair. Shot 75, 74%, 
three disabling. Uh, do we have anyone with a uh, stun gun here? No. Okay. This Persian obviously needs to get in the cover. 50% chance to hit. Take it. Okay. Forty percent chance from here, apparently. We're gonna go for it. Oh, no. Damn it. Jingles, nah, he needs to get out of there. A CG can probably kill this guy. Nope. Target still up. Imperial can definitely take a shot this turn, so we'll have him head over into the train car and try. Jeez. And yeah, we need to move Jingles into some cover. Who brought the med kit this turn? I thought it was one of the new guys. Maybe I didn't bring a med kit? Huh. Okay, well. That's fine. up here. Nah, he doesn't have any shot on him. It's fine. Persian here. up layer on this side. 48% versus... Apparently that's the only one he can shoot at. I guess so. We'll take a shot. Nice. So that takes care of one of them. And Jingles here. Start moving him up along layer side. Sucks that Imperial was never shot. I don't want to put him in the poison cloud though, so we're gonna have to just move up alongside this one. This is a disturbing sight to say the least. It's hard to differentiate where the organic material ends and the machine begins. It's not gonna win any beauty contest, that's for sure. What the heck? I think Imperial just took a humongous amount of damage, yeah. We're gonna push him all the way back here, because I don't want him to die. Persian, nothing you can shoot apparently. How about CG? 94% chance, 60% chance of a critical, do it. Down. Persian should be able to get in a shot on the other one here. Alright, takes care of those new things. Floaters is what the game seems to call them. So move up behind this ATM thing. Negative. 
negative damage. He's running away. This is probably the last one. Imperial establish Overwatch back there. Persian move up here. Nope, we still got more it looks like. 50% chance on the Thin Man there. And 30% on that side. So we're gonna actually have a CG move up and try to take a shot on that guy. You can get a pretty good shot there, but we're gonna see how Lair can might be able to deal with this guy first. Man, we could run right into him there. What does this blue circle around him mean? Does that mean that it's uh, oh, that's stun gun range? Okay. Well, let's move Jingles up to see if he can't possibly uh, get this thin man here. to sprint out. Yep. The firing position. Okay, might as well go for the cover. Ah, damn. Oh, it's gonna make him miss because of the perk that Lair has. Yeah. That's very convenient. And, uh, go ahead and take care of him. Shot on that guy. Nothing. No, that is not good. farther here. Might be a good idea to just move into cover over here. 54 cents. It's the only one you can possibly hit. Well. Take it. Alright, so you hit. Dead in the water here. Needs to reload. I'm ready. Jingles, 45% chance on that guy. Yeah, you know what, we're gonna go for it. Nope. Negative damage. CG. Try to take out the thin man. Nothing. Adjusting side need a resupply. Persian is done for. Or not. He missed, apparently. Although now. CG, bye bye. I'm gonna try and take out the floater with Imperial here. No 
pause the game real quick. Okay, I'm back. Um, right, so we need to. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Reload there. Okay, well. Jingles, you have a 54% chance on the thin map, but you should have a very. Well, what the heck? What about Lair? He's gotta have a good shot. 76%. Could even try stun gunning this guy. But you need to have less than three health for that, so yeah, he can't do anything. It's just Persian has to run, basically. Okay, 54% on that guy, 46 on him. Try to take out the Thin Man. Good. You should just hunker down, I think, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to just take a shot at him here. Operational objectives completed. Okay. Well, I earned another promotion. He's a lieutenant now. Got a lot of promotions out of that. So, Jingles is a heavy, uh, Persian is a corporal, I believe, yes, and Sar er, Lair is now a lieutenant. So, yeah, I'll just do some Jingles, Lair, Flush, fire a shot that causes enemies to run out of cover, easy to hit with, does reduce damage, rapid fire, two shots against the target in quick succession. I'd rather have the ability to make people run out of cover than be able to shoot twice. Extra sprint. That would be really useful. Okay, now we can do a floater autopsy. Alright, we got four scientists. Remember, we will be watching. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to end the, uh, the episode here, and we'll pick it back up next time. Hopefully I'll remember to actually equip the laser weapons and all this new gear that we've been constructing on our guys before we go into the fight. And, uh, and hopefully we can get another alien encounter, so we can hopefully try and capture a, an outsider is what they call them, but they're the energy things. So yeah, see you guys in the next episode.